So, today I'm going to talk about specific gravity of your beers and how to measure it. Uh, specific gravity is how we tell when our beer is finished and how much alcohol by volume we have in the beer. Now, there are a couple ways we can test specific gravity and ways that home brewers use, and I'm going to compare and contrast the two of them. The first one is a refractometer. Now, a refractometer is uh, a great little tool. It only uses a couple drops of beer to check the gravity, and um, it'll easily tell you where it's at when there's no alcohol in it. Now, uh, these are really good for when you're brewing and mashing and boiling and putting your beer into the fermenter. It'll give you the exact specific gravity of that beer and it'll tell you what your starting gravity is. The other tool that we use is a hydrometer. Now a hydrometer is a little device that when you put it in a vial of wort, floats. Now you'll see that thing is floating in the middle there and uh, it's actually about an inch off the bottom of the vial and when I read the scale here, it's going to tell me what the specific gravity of the beer is. Now, since the beer in that vial has been fermenting for a couple weeks, um, it's not going to be um, the same reading as what I get on a refractometer. Refractometers are skewed when there is alcohol present in the liquid. And what you have to do is you have to uh, run the reading from the refractometer through a program. A beersmith has one built in. There's a handful of them online. And that program, you key in the starting gravity of your beer, and then you key in the current gravity is read on the refractometer. And through a formula, it will correct it and tell you what the gravity of your beer is. Now, uh, the test I want to do is I'm going to compare the gravity on the refractometer corrected with the formula to the gravity of my hydrometers. Plus, I'm going to compare my three hydrometers and see if they both read the same. Now, um, I have four different devices here that I can use to check the specific gravity of my wart. Now, up in the top left, obviously, is a... Uh, hydrometer tube filled with wort. There's about four ounces of wort in there. I found that's what I need to use in that particular tube. The next to that is my refractometer. Uh, then I have three different hydrometers. Now, the two hydrometers to the left are actually both from uh, BSG, and they both were apparently the exact same thing because they both came in the tube and said that triple scale hydrometer um, the one in the middle, I lost the tube a long time ago, but uh, you'll notice that at one time all the beads went up and I've got a little bit of what looks like wax on the scale. Uh, the left-hand one is brand new. I've seldom used it. That's my spare. The one on the right here is a wine and beer hydrometer, supposedly, and... Uh, it has different colored sections for different things. Uh, I'm going to roll it here a little bit, see if it'll tell what it is. Uh, I guess, okay, it says uh, your beer should start out in the red section and finish up in uh, the green section up on the top. Um, some beer will start out in the green section and finish in the green. Um, really high gravity beers will be in the blue section. So. I don't know why they have those colors there. It's probably just, well, if you look on here, it says dessert wine, table wine, and I don't see anything there. Okay, finishing wine. Now, why it doesn't say, okay, it says beer right there and beer right there. So I guess I'm not sure what the reasoning for the coloring is. Anyway, I have actually found that this particular hydrometer reads different than both of the other hydrometers here. I don't know why that is, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare them, and I'm going to compare 
the refractometer reading for this fermented or fermenting beer. It's pretty much finished right now. And then I'm going to use the refractometer correction tool in Beersmith. And I'm going to compare what it says I've got for a specific gravity to what the hydrometers say for what I've got for the specific gravity. Well, this is the first hydrometer, the one I stuck in the vial when we were talking. And if you look, I'm going to try and come around here. Uh, the meniscus on that is right at about 18. So the reading is uh, 1.018. Uh, let's see if I can get a little closer. I mean, it could be closer to 19, but anyway, that's close enough for what I need. This wort has been fermenting for about a week now. I'm going to stick the second hydrometer in. The second hydrometer, which is from the same company and manufactures the first hydrometer, gives me a reading pretty much the same. Uh, let me see if I can spin it around. Uh, yeah, yeah, slightly lighter, but uh, let's see if it. But again, that's about 1.018, give or take a half a point. Two, four, six, eight. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna try the third hydrometer. Third hydrometer, which I bought online, and this is the one that I don't really trust because it's never given me a right gravity readings compared to the other ones. Again, as I suspected, it's not the same. It says I'm at, well, let's see, I'm trying to look through the vial, probably uh, 13 or 14. That's not right. Okay, my refractometer, which I have just uh, calibrated with some RO water, I've got set at zero right now. So that's calibrated and yeah, right there at zero. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some wort on my refractometer and we'll get a reading and compare them. See, I'd only used a couple drops, which is a whole lot different than the four ounces. Oops. Now, bear with me for just a second here. I'm going to focus it on my... Uh, try on, on a focus. Okay. I knocked the focus out. That's okay. Oh, that way I had it. Oh, darn it. There it is. Okay, if you look, my refractometer reading was right. Okay. Ah, shoot. Okay, the refractometer reading is right at 1025, 1026. Maybe 1027. Got Beer Smith up on the screen here, and I've uh, loaded the refractometer tool, and I did that from up here in tools, and right down here is refractometer, and it brings up this tab here. Now I click this down arrow here, and I've got three choices: unfermented wort gravity, fermenting wort gravity, or original gravity of finished beer, which is pretty much the same as fermenting wort gravity. I think you can actually work backwards from the finished beer. Um, but anyway, what I'm going to do is the fermenting wort gravity. And I've already keyed in the original gravity that I started with, which was 1048. Um, now, my refractometer reading was 1027. Man, let's go 1026. It's right in between. Now, what that tells me is my corrected gravity is 1012. Well, isn't that interesting? So here we are. We had three hydrometers and a refractometer, and they got three different readings. The two similar hydrometers were the same. The colorful hydrometer was about five points light. The refractometer, after running it through the correction tool, was about 
uh, from 18 to 12, 19 to 12, a seven points light. So what are you gonna believe? Well, the key is to use the same tool for starting gravity that you use for finished gravity, or final gravity. Um, you can use inaccurate hydrometers or the refractometer, and don't even bother with correction, to find out when your fermentation is finished, because regardless of which one you use, it's gonna read the same throughout the process and if it says that it has stopped fermenting and it stays at that final number for three days in a row fermentation's finished it doesn't matter if you correct it with the refractometer usage or if you use a hydrometer that reads different from another hydrometer uh, as long as it's done it's going to be done and it's going to hang at the same spot so do what you wish with this information. Um, the weird thing is my refractometer was a little bit closer to the hydrometer that I didn't think was very good than it was to my other hydrometers that I have always used. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do now. Um, it really, again, doesn't matter. I'm looking for the difference between the starting gravity and the final gravity to calculate my ABV and that's gonna be the same whether I use a starting gravity that's five points lower and a finished gravity that's five points lower with the same hydrometer or it's five points higher with the same hydrometer. Uh, the key is it is the same hydrometer. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Cheers.